There has been one highly requested Game & Mouse out there in the space, right? The Razer Viper Ultimate Mini, or the Razer Viper Mini Wireless. We haven't seen it yet, right? The Extrafy M42 Wireless, I truly think, is gonna fulfill that need for that Viper Mini Wireless if you've been looking for it. Now, inside your box of the Extrafy M42 Wireless, you have a whole lot going on. Number one, you get your mouse, which whatever color you decide to get. You have your replacement back shell, your screwdriver to change that back shell, which we'll take a look at here shortly, your USB-C cable, which is gold plated by the way, your USB-C to A adapter, your wireless dongle, two keycaps right here for your keyboard, you get some replacement feet, and then this little manual or how-to guide, which jumping into it, I really love this about the X5 products, no software needed. Again, this isn't just basic, hey, how to plug in your mouse. Yeah, we all know how to do that. But when you look in here, you can kind of see everything can be controlled right on the mouse. Kind of like what you've seen in Glorious Mice, right? Your polling rate, your RGB, everything, bam, is controlled right on the mouse, no software needed. Now, looking at the dimensions of this mouse, it's probably coming to you right now, right? This is a small mouse clear as day it is smaller but the great thing about it again is the interchangeable shell the, the back plate at least you have the little hump right back there and if you look at it this way you have more of a plump hump right here and then when you go into this one it's more smaller so what you're gonna do right here is actually just get in here and you actually have three screws they, they went above and beyond to hold this mouse into place right that back shell is not gonna pop off on you we've seen Ponage and some other companies do it where you just pop off off the shell it kind of clips off back there and you're good to go but with extra fi as we know they always make incredibly solid products this guy is not budging bam and then our back plate is off now you all know me and how i go about my reviews right i don't like too many specs and numbers and even looking at the numbers of these is kind of like what so i want to give you two examples that i think can really put you into place with this mouse here talking about the interchangeable shells because it's not just fluff you actually notice in the hand so talking about that low one again i'm going to give it razor viper mini vibes right here when you put this on your hand yo that's clear as day what it feels like like no joke barely touches me in the back of the hand right over here right in that palm it doesn't hit me in the back of the palm just again like the mini so when you take that off right so we got razor viper mini over here with the flat shell let's go on and put on that hump so what is this like and lo and behold how cool this was it is a spitting image of the rocat burst pro if you used it before a mini version all right so if this mouse is ever too big for you y'all know me i main this mouse i absolutely love it but putting it in my hand right here it's just like holy smokes no joke spitting image this mouse with the big hump is a burst Pro Mini. And I honestly think that's really cool because we have two fantastic mice right here in one. All right, so how about that weight? And right now we have the plump hump on the back right here. We are going to get 66 grams with the bigger hump on the back. And I don't know if this is going to make any difference. So again, 66 grams coming over here. We are going to get 64 grams. And if anybody out there wants to be that person that says, oh, hey, well, you don't have the screws attached. This is how much the screws weigh. And of course, you can use it with no back if you want. And and that's gonna come in at 60 grams. But of course, when you get it in your hand, yo, this thing is not cozy at all. And one of my favorite things about this mouse, or heck, extra five products in general, you guys have heard me talk about them before, is the quality. Yo, there is not a single creak crank or flex on this thing this thing is rock solid again even with the back off not even screwed on i mean you honestly don't really need to use those screws because again it sits in there pretty stinking good it's not budging it doesn't fall out so again you can use it just like that and still no creaking no cranking i mean extra five just always makes such quality built products. I stink and love it. Now taking a look at the underside of the mouse right here, you do have PTFE feet. Again, you do have those extra feet and also included is that middle foot right there. You have your polling rate button and then your switch down here as far as power. It switches over to that, to your uh, DPI or CPI, your RGB and page down where you can set a button to page down right there as like a macro. And then again, that's how you control your RGB or click it right into CPI and then you can control it right on the top here. Now looking underneath it, you're probably seeing these two little uh, gashes right Right there what you can do is loosen that up and adjust everything in there kind of adjusting the battery which adjusts the weight more towards the front more towards the back uh, you notice it a pinch you know you do notice it if it's in the front or the back it's kind of a feature that I honestly could live without. And back up to the top of the mouse here the buttons are incredibly crispy and right to the point.
Oh, I love how smooth that scroll wheel is. Every button on this mouse just feels very snappy. Again, there's not much give either way right there. Even the side buttons, not much play. Again, it just feels incredibly solid top to bottom, side to side. So with the XTRY M42 wireless coming in at 99 bucks, hands down easily justifies it. I love this mouse, I really do. Again, even being a bigger mouse fan right there, it was a blast. Is it that Razer Viper Mini Wireless? Yes, hands down. And again, it's so cool being able to change it to that plump, again, calling it a Rocap Burst Pro Wireless. It's like two mice in one, which is really cool right here. Is it the mouse for me? As much as a good time I had with it and I enjoyed using it? No, it's not. It's not something I can main. And I've been asking ExtraFi, and hopefully they're watching this, make an M42 Wireless Plus, a bigger one. And hands down, I will main this. Easily a main for me. So ExtraFi, Please, M42 Wireless Plus, and include side grips in there so I can get rid of these holes. So anyways, thank you so much for stopping by watching my review on the XFI M42 Wireless right here. I hope it helped you out. If you got any other questions, do not hesitate to ask right down in the comments. Always glad, and I love talking shop with you guys. So again, just ask right down below if you have any other questions, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey, I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.